everyone and welcome to Mencap's big family big. Christmas party! <laughs> big. big! Big! That's right! Kicking us off in style today, our good ah. friends over at Electric Umbrella have written yeah. a brilliant brand new Christmas single called Christmas in Lockdown. Mm. Lockdown! <gasps> yeah! Which is riding high in the iTunes charts. So, Grab your sand hats and your hairbrush microphones as we welcome our first guest for today, Electric Umbrella! <laughs> yeah! I don't want to spend Christmas in lockdown I want to break oh, look, free from these paper so, chains Cause the white oh, rack is empty, friends are not here I wish this new normal would disappear I don't want to spend Christmas in lockdown It's been quite a year, but now that it's nearly over from this year's Britain's Got Talent. Britain's Got Talent, that's right. Where we performed in a choir called Sign Along With Us. We made it through to the live finals and ended up coming second. Yeah. 
Hi everyone, my name's George and I will be bringing you a lot of Christmas cheer by delivering a few Christmassy jokes. So, why are Christmas trees so bad at sewing? I don't know George, why are Christmas trees so bad at sewing? Because they always drop their needles. <laughs> hey, great one. Up next on the show, we head over to the kitchen where Ooh. great British Bake Off finalist Kim Joy has been cooking up some of her festive treats. Woo! Mm. Let's see what she's been baking. wait to make these this weekend so we can do some doorstep deliveries does that sound fun yeah yeah and just to mention that kim joy's new cookbook christmas with kim joy is out now in fact we've got five copies to give away this evening so let us know in the comments what you'll be baking mm. this christmas to be in with a chance of winning a copy <laughs> what did a beaver say to the Christmas tree. I don't know, George, what did the beaver say to the Christmas tree? No, ignoring you. <laughs> That's terrible. No, it's not that, it's brilliant. Now, we yeah. are so excited to see the next guest, Ali Christian. Yeah. We have been big fans of his for years now. <laughs> we are delighted to welcome mm. the winner of Britain's Got Talent 2018, the incredible Lost Boys yeah. Guy. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. If you are wondering how I got disabled, it's because I didn't forward that chain email to 10 of my closest friends when I was younger. Before we get started, some of you may have seen me on Britain's Got Talent. If you missed it, my Britain's Got Talent audition is on YouTube. I think the person who uploaded it is taking the mic though. Because the comments are disabled. You're probably wondering what was the best thing about winning the show. Was it the 250 grand prize money or the chance to perform in front of the royal family? Well, I'd love to answer that question, but according to this new iPad, it's time to drive my Porsche to the airport and get on my private jet to Monte Carlo. I'm joking. As if I drive myself to the airport. It's hard to describe how scary it was walking out in front of the Britain's Got Talent judges for the first time. Put it this way, my lucky white pants are now my lucky brown pants. One of the main advantages of winning a television show is that I get a lot more female attention. That's right. My grandma rings me at least twice a week now. The other day, this beautiful young woman wanted a selfie. As she took the picture, she asked me to say cheese. So now she's got a photo of the top of my head and me frantically typing the word Gorgonzola into my iPad. I've even had the opportunity to perform in America. It was such a great experience flying first class to Los Angeles. In fact, I was speechless on the plane. But that's the problem with being put into flight mode. So, I get the feeling it might be Christmas. 
Christmas soon. I'm not a big fan of this time of year. I haven't liked it since I was young. Me and my friends went out carol singing, and I was the only one who didn't make any money. And I hate this bad weather. When my hands are cold, it takes me three hours just to type out, bloody hell, I'm freezing. My fingers are crossed for a white Christmas. It's the only time you all walk as badly as I do. Festive songs are getting shorter. On the first day of Christmas, my true love sent to me an Amazon voucher and a note saying, sort yourself out. When I was six, Santa brought me a lovely Christmas present, all wrapped up with a big bow. I've still got no idea what it is. Do I look like I can open a bow? My dad never puts a lot of thought into my Christmas presents either. When I was ten, he got me a pair of walkie-talkies, then got annoyed at me when I didn't reply to his messages. If you think that was bad, a few years earlier, he had got me a Mr. Chatterbox book. I can't think of anything less suitable for me. It had be like me getting him a mug saying, world's best dad. It was like that bit on game shows, where they show you what you could have won. Apparently they bought me it as a joke, but I was only three at the time. I thought they were buying it as some sort of training manual. This year, I've been invited to switch on Christmas lights in my home city of Newcastle. I just hope they don't want me to do the countdown. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. I do have to set a few things straight before I have to leave you. I do need to set a few things straight. Firstly, I'm not drunk and this is actually how I walk all the time. Despite what embarrassed parents might tell their children when they ask awkward questions as I walk past. I did spend eight years as an alcoholic in a vain attempt to correct this issue. Thinking that if I drank enough, I'd walk straight. Turns out it just aggravated the bladder issue further. The second thing I need to point out is this. I am not related to Stephen Hawking in any way. However, I do hate the way people take the mick out of the way he speaks. I can really synthesize with him. And last but not least, I need to point out this. I hate that we have so many politically correct words to describe disabled people now. It's all special needs, special schools, special Olympics. I don't know what is so special about me. That is why it always alarms me when I hear about special forces going to war. Ladies and gentlemen, I have been the lost voice guy. If you find my voice, please contact me as soon as possible on my social media. You've been a fantastic audience. Even if you haven't, I can't really change what I say at this point. I hope you have had fun laughing at a disabled man. Enjoy the rest of your day. Goodbye. How funny is Lost Yay. Voice, guys? Don't forget, if you want to see Lee live, everything cross, you can catch him next year on his tour called... Cerebral Lolzy! <laughs> Thanks, Lee! Okay, thank you! Okay.
Thank you. What is Santa afraid of? I don't know, George. What's Santa afraid of? The elf and safety officer. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> it's now time to grab your Christmas jumper templates as Florence and her mum Katie from Little Florence Art take us through how to make a homemade Christmas jumper garland. Today we're going to make some Christmas jumper garlands, okay? So what do we need? We paper. need paper, colouring, colouring pens, scissors, glue. glue and some string. So first of all, shall we colour our jumpers in? Okay, then which one are you going to colour in? This one, my favourite. The snowman, your favourite. What colour are you going to have? I want orange. And I'll colour in the Christmas pudding. <laughs> I love pudding. You like eating it? Yeah. With ice cream or custard? Ice cream. Yeah, me too. Nice colouring. And yours? Thanks. For good, good. You don't want me. I've done that one, yeah. <laughs> you're colouring in Christmas jumpers and you're wearing your Christmas jumper, Florence, aren't you? Yeah. What's on your jumper? Mm, Lincoln. Sit. Done. <laughs> Love it. You cut your jumper out and I'll cut my jumper out, yeah? I do my hair. Oh. It's quite tricky, isn't it? That's why sometimes we have a little bit of help, especially around this bit. <laughs> now that we've got our jumpers, we want to put them on some string. And lay the string out. We'll turn them all over. Turn them over. Either way. That way. Oh, that way. <laughs> and then we've got to stick them. So do you want to open the glue? Yeah. So we start with this one. Can you put the glue on the tabs? Sure. Turn it over and have a look. Yeah. What do you think? And tell me what you think. Ready? Yeah. Is it good? <laughs> hey, look. So that's how you make a Christmas tree garland. Merry Christmas! Florence, your garland looks wonderful, doesn't it, Christian? Yeah! Yeah! Thank you so much to Florence and Katie from Little Florence Art. Don't forget, you can download the templates below. Hello. And make sure you send us a picture too. Who beats his chest and swings from a Christmas cake to Christmas cake? Who beats his chest and swings from Christmas cake to Christmas cake? Tazzy Pan! <laughs> <laughs> now, we're excited now. to welcome our very first piece of live now. music to the show. Now, yeah. Recently announced as part now. of a... Virgin Summer Emerging Stars Programme. You may recognise Hannah's vocals from the legendary Lloyd's Bank advert where she covered Fatboy Slim's Praise You. Hannah has recently released her debut Yay. album, Remedy, and today performed her own version of Merry Christmas, everyone! Merry Christmas, everyone! Take it away, Hannah! Snow's falling all around me children playing having fun it's the season love and understanding merry christmas everyone time for parties and celebrations people dancing all night long time for presents and exchanging kisses time for singing christmas songs we're gonna have a party tonight i'm gonna Records playing all the old songs love to give. Oh, how I wish that every day was Christmas. What a nice way to spend the Snow is 
hands for you all around me. Children playing, having fun. It's the season. Love and understanding. Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas, everyone. Oh, Merry Christmas. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. When I had my daughter, she was put into my arms, then I realised that she had Down syndrome. I still have memories of looking at that men cap envelope and was absolutely delighted to find out that we had been given a place. So our first day at the men cap centre was very emotional. When we walked in through the doors, we were greeted by Donna, who is her key worker, who was going to look after Laura for the year. She said to me on that day, don't worry, Laura will walk out of here at the end of term. Still remember that very fondly. And of course, Laura did walk out on her last day herself. Excuse me. <laughs> to be honest, at the time, for us, it was really like winning the lottery. We felt like the chosen few and still do. Back to some more baking now as we head over yeah. to join Great British Bake Off's Bryony Mae Williams as she takes us through how to create some Christmassy cinnamon biscuits. <gasps> Ooh. With added macaton, just the way we like it. We will be reposting the individual videos and recipes so you can watch them back and recreate them over the Christmas break. Hello and welcome to Bryony Mae Bakes. Hello, my name's Erin and I'm a Makaton tutor. And today we're baking with Makaton. Today we're making biscuits. That's right, biscuits. In this recipe, we will need flour. Flour. Salt. Salt. Cinnamon. Cinnamon. Baking powder. And baking powder. Butter. Butter, sugar, sugar, and milk. And milk. In this bowl is flour, cinnamon, baking powder, and salt. So in this bowl we have flour, cinnamon, baking powder, and salt. And in this bowl we have butter. And here is the butter. I'm going to add the sugar to the butter. Okay, so let's put the sugar in with the butter. And now I'm going to mix them together. Okay, so let's mix them together. Very difficult <laughs> mixing. Bryony is mixing together the flour, the salt, the cinnamon, and the baking powder. Now, I'm going to put the butter and the sugar in with the flour. Okay, so let's put the butter and the sugar in with the flour.
combine these stirring them together. What's next? We're going to add a little bit of milk. Brian is adding some milk. Getting messy. <laughs> and now we're going to make the biscuits. Okay, let's make the biscuits. So we're going to make a ball. So we're making a ball out of the biscuit mix. Yep. Then we're going to put it on the baking tray. So we're putting it on the baking tray. And then we're going to squash it down. Squash down that biscuit. And we do it again. And again. And again. For many biscuits. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's next? We're going to put the biscuits in the oven. Okay, let's put the biscuits into the oven. And here are our biscuits. They look really yummy. Thank you. Thank you for watching Baking with Makaton. And thank you for watching Briny May Bakes. Bye. Bye. Yo, say so yummy. <laughs> oh, we are spoiled for choice as to what we're going to be making together this Christmas, aren't we, Christian? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Bryony. What did Santa do when he went on a speed dating? He pulled a cracker. <laughs> oh, Christian, we're nearing the end of Mencap's big family Christmas big, big. party. Big family Christmas mm. party. Okay. But we have something really <laughs> big. Big, yeah. We have something really special lined up for you now. British country music twins, Ward Thomas, have kindly recorded a special Christmas cover just for us today. And this particular version also features the incredible <laughs> dance moves of everyone's favourite dancer, Andrew Self. Take it away, guys.
Christian's good acting. Well done, Christian. Yay. And we want to say a massive thank yeah, you yeah. to you all for tuning in with us this evening. And we hope that you've had some festive fun. Don't forget, you can head over to the Mencap website to download all the recipes and craft templates from today. And all that's left from us is to say and sign is... Yes. We wish yes. you a Merry Christmas! Yes. Playing us out, please welcome Dan Syndrome! Hold up, I am on my way, I'm in motion Let's go to the ocean Yeah, let's go outside We can hang out on the beach with our free isn't that amazing in Christmas times? We'll be chilling and having a good, good time. Doesn't matter if the snow is falling or the wind blows in the rain is pouring. It will always be Christmas in my heart. But this year I wanna hang out with my friends and family. Is coming to visit. No, he wouldn't miss this in Christmas times. Oh, 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 and the sun said it is just getting better on a blanket with the skyline painted in blue. Ooh, yeah, that's what we do. We'll be chilling and having a good, good time. Santa's gonna come and join us in this song. Oh, yeah. Yeah.